So this is a follow-up video to my Node 202 Mini dedicated ITX streaming PC. I've been using this thing for church services, um, high school sporting events, as well as my gaming, and pretty much a whole bunch of other stuff. It's been very versatile, and I'm really happy with it. Just want to show y'all um, what I've actually done with it recently because of Black Friday sales and other things like that. I've made some adjustments and replaced some parts in there, and I just want to revisit the whole thing and let y'all see what I'm actually using it for now. Coming up next. All right, so what has changed? For the most part, the first thing I did is I have upgraded my capture card to the Blackmagic DeckLink 4K mini recorder. Um, mainly just because of any environments I've been, I've needed an SDI connection. And I upgraded this to where it could actually do 4K recording as well as streaming if I want to. I haven't dare tested this with 4K. I might actually do that today just to see how it handles. But that's the reason why I moved to this because I needed a studio connection. I've been um, taking this out to the field sometimes to stream sporting events and the HDMI would come loose um, so I needed something that would lock in place. Um, actually, <laughs> bad story, I was recording a basketball game and for whatever reason, some parent decided to let their kids, their toddler, stroll back and forth and the toddler saw a dangling cable and just yanked it. Yanked the whole thing loose, missed the whole game. So that's why I upgraded to this. So I can lock this in place and I actually have it hooked up to this camera right now. I have the Blackmagic Mini HDMI to SDI converter, which I can use to this. And the better, best part about that is I can run 300 feet of cable and connect this, to this instead of the 20 foot limit with HDMI. And that also helps with churches as well too. So let's go ahead and crack this open. All right, so pretty much nothing has really changed um, the innards are pretty much exactly the same just added a few things here let me adjust my camera all right so as, as I said here's the deck link 4k all right, so pretty much that's the deck link 4k uh, mini recorder like I said it has a little fan on it cool everything off but it has HDMI in and um, SDI in, which, which I mainly use for, like I just said, to secure the cable so it's, it locks right there, so it locks in place so nothing can really jostle it loose. That's more of a studio quality. Let's put that back here. And since that's a professional grade um, capture card, it pretty much works with everything. That was the one issue I had um, I've been playing around with playing around with live stream from Vimeo and their software does not talk to the Elgato products so that was kind of another reason why I upgraded to that as well the main OS on this system is an M.2 drive which is on the bottom of the motherboard and just how this case is, I'm definitely not gonna remove that. But what I did is, just to help with transporting stuff around, I actually bought a one terabyte um, Seagate hard drive so that when I'm recording here, I'm actually recording on the camera, recording on the computer, which will give me the mix of what I'm doing from OBS or whatever streaming um, stuff that I'm using. Um, I learned the hard way to always make a backup. So I'm streaming off of this, recording on this, as well as it's recording to wherever I'm live streaming in this as well. So learn, like I said, learn that the hard way. So I always have a backup of a backup of a backup of all the stuff that I'm doing. 
and I have space to put another drive in there if I wanted to. I can always upgrade this up to, I think, the biggest I've seen for these laptop drives is like four terabyte. So I could always go there. But again, this is normally for like event recording. So I've never gone, honestly, um, even, I wouldn't do uncompressed, but I've gone up to having multiple games, multiple church events, multiple gaming sessions on there and have have not had any issues with it the entire time so um now the other thing i'm not going to pull out of here everything else has stayed the same i still have eight gigs of memory in here i could always upgrade that to 16 if i wanted to but right now the eight has been working fine based off of i'm not gaming on this even though it could game um eight gigs of corsair memory but everything else is the same, but I did upgrade to the Ryzen 5 2400G. And even though the original Ryzen that I had, the Ryzen 3 2200G, was able to do 1080p, 60 frames a second, like I said, um, from my gaming standpoint, from recording standpoint, perfectly fine, never went over 25% max. Now, when I went over to the live stream producer studio that thing was a hog and it ended up um, hammering the system really intensely so that's why I upgraded to this I'm still testing out the software I'll come back with my thoughts on that software later um, but I still stick with OBS because it's not that um, bad from a over from a um, resource level but I also upgraded this because when I'm doing games I actually run multiple programs on here as well as besides just the live streaming part so i just needed i wanted more horsepower plus they had this on sale on a black friday sale for like um 90 so that was the best bang for my buck for that so that's the only thing i've changed is the cpu i added another hard drive for additional storage and i upgraded to a 4k capture card so let me go ahead and close this back up and let's go ahead and get into the system so you can see what's actually going on inside of it all right, so here's the desktop of the Note 202. The only thing I'm running right now is OBS to record itself right now. And I'll talk about this in more detail. I've told you before I'm using an ATEM switcher um, in this whole setup. So I have the capture card that I showed you, the DeckLink 4K mini recorder, is capturing the output from my video switcher table that I have where I have all my computers plugged into it, my console, my camera, everything is plugged into that. It's being mixed, then it goes out from the program output into the deck link. Uh, and that's where it's running right now. So performance is really great. And what I'm gonna do is actually live stream the game and I'm gonna keep this up so you can see what the performance looks like, all right? So as you can see, um, the performance is really good. I tried to bounce between just a couple of games. I went from my PlayStation 4 to my video <laughs> editing system that I normally haven't played games on in a while, but um, pretty much it doesn't really matter the input that's going to it. It pretty much handles whatever. Everything um, works good. Um, like I said, I've done it at 1080. Um, 1080p at 60 frames a second, that's where I normally stream at, um, no matter what it is, whether it be for personal, kind of like how this is, um, when I record and stream this, or when I do other stuff. Now, what I want to do is actually, um, I'm gonna re-hook up some stuff down here and just see what the performance is like if I was doing straight um, 4K. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try that right now.
All right, so I am currently live streaming at 4K, but let me see what the performance is gonna be. So I'm at 30, 32%, okay. Let me go to my main page so I can see what it looks like. So I just want to make sure we're actually at that uh, right here. So if I come in here, that's what it's being outputted at. Just confirm we're at 4K and Highest we've hit is 36% uh, 36 CP 36 CPU usage. Now I don't have a high bit rate. Um, I think it's at 3000, but still, I think this is actually pretty good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. And like I said, I'll make a link to this so you can see this actually being streamed. So guys, there's the end results of the upgrade of my Note 202. I am super excited because this was the first time I actually tried to live stream at 4K on the system. And it didn't even go over 36%, which they told me that when I get into live streaming 4K, it's completely possible and I don't need to even need to change anything in this system, which I'm really excited about. And again, this is the small version. My main streaming system is actually a Ryzen 7 um, 1700X, which pretty much has the exact same thing. Um, and it has a 4K capture card too. So literally streaming at 4K is possible from this small Note 202 system with the parts that uh, that I included. So anyway, in the description, I will have links to all of the parts, the entire system that I have built, and just let you know, there are affiliate links there um, that help support the channel so we can keep making, I can keep making content like this. Please like and share this video. Um, leave a comment if you have any other questions or um, any input on what you're using for your streaming system. And, you know, consider subscribing. And if you are a subscriber and you haven't done it, join the notification squad, hit the bell. That way you get notified of any new videos that I come out with. This is AJ, the CEO, and I'll check you next time. Later.